Welcome to the first ever Make the A Train Awards and happy Friday. Today we're going to look at some exemplary work, some of the very best work by the people in your class so that we can move forward. Before we do though, let me just show you one thing. Take the A Train was a song by a man named Duke Ellington in his orchestra and Mr. Brennan just took that from looking at how we did with the Leo the Rabbit and decided that he would make a math task out of it. So that's where the name comes from. I would play it for you, but we don't have time. You could play it on your own self. So we're going to take a look at some classic work today. This work here comes to us from our good friend, Mr. Gonzalez, also known secretly as Test One. You could tell by the Star Trek badge that that's him. I wanted to point some things out about his work uh, and make the A train. He has an answer. I don't think it's the right answer, but I can't tell for sure. I've made mistakes too, but it's a very plausible answer. That means it could be the answer, and he has a lot of evidence to support it. Ordinarily, if this is what he had, I would give him a, a three, because this evidence makes perfect sense. Um, talking about all ones, there's one of those. These are all the different types of uh, things he found. So that's very strong. But where this thing goes crazy, where he gets all his extra points to make this a four, he goes from each one, and then he you can see this is very logical, right? There's a lot of strategy in what he did here. So that's really, really, really great. I think he missed some somewhere, but you know, I started looking at my paper, and I can't tell where it is yet, but I'm intrigued. This is my, part of my extension. I'm gonna be looking at it this weekend, but. I love the color, it's beautiful work, it's been highly organized, so that's just really, really cool. Um, congratulations to you, Mr. Gonzalez. Um, and then there's the uh, rubric on the end, which I put the wrong rubric. So, good for you. Another top, top, top paper is this one. I'm gonna show you two things. This is my friend, Brianne Huntingford. I love that she started with an explanation. She explained her thinking, what she did. She, she had instructions for me, but she talked about how she found her work and the patterns that she used. I did this for her. I'm gonna show you her other work. I decide, I tried to see if I could put, you can see over here, she made a, a spreadsheet. I'm gonna show you that. I just copied it, put it on there, but uh, she actually did her work over here. Might be a little hard for me to show, but I'm gonna try. You can see here, she did just the ones and the ones with twos. And so she went like that, she went that way. Again, very organized, trying to make sure that she got everything. So you can see this uh, later. Some of the colors she used are a little dark. I had that same problem myself. So um, I thought this was exemplary work too. Very organized. She explained her thinking and she showed us her thinking. She has a uh, a clear, plausible answer. She thinks 91, and this is how she got it. So congratulations to you, uh, Brianne. Nice work. The last one besides mine that I want to share with you is this one, my friend Charlie Tirada. Again, you're gonna see some of the same things. It's my favorite one, except for it, it hurts my stomach a little bit. She got 122, which is more, seven more than I got. But again, she starts with her explanation. She gives us a, a bunch of words and, and talks about what she does, but she didn't stop there. If she stopped there, uh, well, if she just stopped there, it might be a two because that, it's not enough evidence, but then she shows us this table and I match this up with my table. I can't find where we have differences, but you could see just like um, we saw in Brianne's and Mr. Gonzalez's, She's very organized in her approach because she's not just trying to uh, get it done. She's trying to find the answer and do it the best way she can. So you can see this thing goes down, especially you get into the, with when two is the top number, two is the biggest number. She found 33 combinations. So I wanna check those combinations now. Um, I'm very intrigued by this thinking. So, that's fantastic. So let me get back here to the show. Um, 
And so a Golden Locomotive Award goes to Mr. Gonzalez for his outstanding mathematical accomplishment. Um, I loved how organized he was in his approach. Next time, I think he'll have a more, uh, more words and a bigger explanation. Maybe that can be hiding here. Um, also a golden, a golden a locomotive award for Brianne. Congratulations. And I decided I'm gonna, maybe not these exact ones, I'm gonna print these up and I'm gonna, if you are fully remote, I'm gonna send them to the, you in the mail. But I've ordered some frames and uh, I'm gonna make these little awards. I'll do the same thing for last week too, but I don't have that ready today. The last one, my favorite one, Charlie Tirada. Congratulations. Very, very, very great work. That's a big deal. I hope that you will attempt to achieve greatness, that you'll try to have uh, a fantastic video too. The next thing I want to talk about um, for my team is testing. We will have testing next week and your teachers will talk more about that. Have a great weekend.